And welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I am Steve Leahy. Okay, so I follow some modelers on YouTube and one of my favorites is Harry Houdini. So I'll post a link in the description below to his channel. So he is working on an airplane model that has some canopies on it. Uh, some gunner canopies and obviously the cockpit as well and it, it's using some pre-cut masks so one of the issues that you have when you have these masks is it's difficult to see the cutouts uh, and what i've done here today i'll show you a little demo of what we're going to do this mask is gold mask from fbs but it, it from what i've seen and i haven't used the tamiya mask but it looks very similar to what the Tamiya mask is. So I thought that would work. It's the same color anyway. So that's gonna do what we needed to do as far as the demo for today. I learned this trick a while ago from custom automotive painters and vinyl sign installers as well. If you're having a difficult time seeing what you're looking at or on a mask, there's a really easy, quick way to kind of make this work. So what you'll need is a little bit of graphite powder and graphite powder is pretty simple to come by. All you need is a pencil and a little bit of sandpaper and then something to catch it in. So I have this little, this little cup. I'm gonna do this on my bench, but you would do this normally on the table. And you just kind of sharpen the pencil and all the dust just kind of falls right into the cup. You don't need very much at all. So what you do, really, really simple is you grab a, a paper towel, wrap it around your finger so you get a little bit of smooth side on, on your finger there, like that. And then you just grab some of the dust and you don't need a lot. So if you get a bunch on there, just kind of scrape it off a little bit because you really don't need a whole bunch. And what you do is you just kind of rub it really lightly back and forth over your mask. And what happens is just that tiny bit of dust fills in the gaps in the letters or the cutouts and lets you see where all those cutouts are. Now the question that Harry had was, will this graphite powder affect the paint? There is so little of it on there that it really doesn't and it's just in the cracks too. So what you would do next is grab your your exacto knife or whatever i'm i'm using i'm i'm going to do this a little bit different than harry did on his video i actually want the openings he was looking for the cutouts so when i pull this i'm going to throw this part away but this would be the part that that i'm taking out that the part that harry was putting on his model but it makes it really easy to see see the cutouts from there okay i want to show you one more quick thing And like I said, this has been done by custom automotive painters for a long, long time. And like I said, it really doesn't, it really doesn't get into the paint at all. Okay, so another thing you can get is, um, this is, um, and I'll put a link to this. This is transfer right. Uh, it's clear transfer paper or plastic, really. They call it transfer. I don't know what they call it. It's transfer material. So what it is, it's a, it's a sheet of basically clear plastic, but it's got a really low tack on one side. So it doesn't have a lot of adhesive. Now the smallest roll I found this in was four, uh, four inches. This is what, six inches I think, maybe eight. This is a six inch roll. So I, I did find a four inch roll. It was about $18. And if you, as a modeler, as a scale model, if you get um, a roll, a four inch roll of this, it will last your natural life. So what I would suggest doing is if you have a, a place that does vinyl signs near you, just kind of go and introduce yourself and say, hey, I'm really looking for this stuff. And when you get to the end of the roll like this, could I buy that from you? And most of the times they'll just give it to you because they can't use a really short amount of this stuff. They're using this to transfer the vinyl letters onto whatever they're working on. So usually they'll give it to you, the scrap rolls, or, you know, they'll, like I said, it's only $17 for the whole roll. So even if they charge you for it, it's not going to be that much. But anyway, once you have a roll of this, you can cut off a small piece of this and this stuff is great because one of the other things I noticed that is a challenge with these masks is getting them in, in the right spot on a really, really small scale. So I'm going to flip this upside down. So picture this is my canopy. If you watch Harry's video as he's putting these pieces onto uh, his canopy. So what I've done is I just cut out a bunch of canopy shapes and I've already done the graphite rub on this so I can see them. But one other quick way to do this, and I don't know that you can do this on 
the sheet that Harry had, but uh, but in most cases you can't. So when they're doing vinyl, usually vinyl letters, what you can do instead of trying to figure out where where everything is, even with the graphite cutout, you can literally just they call it weeding. So what you're doing is you're pulling away everything that is not needed. So you just pull all the outside because you don't need any of this. And what you're left with now, you have no problem seeing the little bits and pieces. All right, so getting this on accurately. Now you can pick these up with tweezers. You can use a knife to kind of, you know, catch the edge and then hold them, you know, kind of like this. So you peel it up and now you kind of got it here. And when I go to put it on my canopy, just kind of drop it down and then put it on like that. But there's a great way with this transfer tape, what you can do Again, this is really low tack on one side. So what you can do is you can get a small piece of this, put it on the mask like this, rub it really strong. And then what it'll do is it'll pull the piece up like this. So now what you can do, and you can cut, obviously cut this piece as small as you need to so it's not in the way. But then what you can do is you can really have an amazing amount of precision on where you put this. And again, because the tack on this is lower then the adhesive on the mask, you just pull it up and it's in exactly the right spot. Just like that. Really easy. So again, and this stuff is reusable too. You know, you could use a piece of, again, <laughs> if you get an entire four inch roll of this stuff, it will last you your, the rest of your life if you're doing scale modeling. Cause you, I mean, how often do you really need to do this? And then the roll, I forget how long it is, but it's really, really long. And you can reuse it too. So you just put it back on the, you know, what you could do is if you were really stingy, you could just stick it right back on the, on the roll like that. And then that keeps it clean. And that's it. So I hope that tip helps. Now we use it, like I said, in custom automotive work. Those techniques are really used a lot, but they do transfer well over to the model side of it too, because it's the same products. It's just used for a little bit different, uh, different application. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, go over and sub to Harry Houdini. Uh, the guy is just a blast to watch. He does some great, great work. And again, he's extremely entertaining. So, uh, so you will not regret it. All right, so for Steve Leahy, Tech Tuesday and his sticky masks, I'll catch you guys on the next one.